Um, so an IVF cycle, uh, we refer to a cycle to um, encapsulate the typically month-long process of ovarian stimulation in the setting of IVF. Typically when we're talking about an IVF cycle, the first piece of that includes injectable medications that you're going to take for approximately 9 to 12 days. Um, during that time frame, what we are doing to monitor you is bring you in for ultrasound and blood work every two to three days during this roughly nine to 12 day time frame. We are looking for growth of follicles in each ovary. We are watching hormone levels. Um, and ultimately, there's going to be a moment where um, your doctor is gonna say, everything looks really great. It's time to plan for the egg retrieval. And so when that moment happens, typically, we are advising you to take a trigger injection, something we call a trigger injection, which is a special medication that prepares you to ovulate. But before you do, we bring you in 36 hours later for an egg retrieval. The egg retrieval is the one day off from work um, that you have to take during this whole process. It's done here in our Waltham Center, um, typically under anesthesia, uh, which is just light sedation. Um, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes. And uh, during that time, we are draining all the fluid from each follicle that we can see in each ovary. In that follicular fluid, an embryologist is looking through to find the eggs. And once those eggs are uh, identified, they are then inseminated with either uh, partner sperm or donor sperm and um, placed in an incubator. They are kept there in that incubator, typically for about five days, at which point um, either the best embryo is then transferred back um, to, to your uterus um, or the uterus of a carrier that you've chosen, um, and the rest are frozen uh, for use in the future. Or if you're pursuing um, something in addition to a traditional IVF cycle called genetic testing, um, typically that involves biopsying embryos and then freezing them, usually around day five or six of their development. So in total, if you're doing a cycle with a fresh trans transfer of an embryo, in total this takes about one month, um, two weeks to get to the retrieval, five days thereafter to get to transfer, and then 10 days thereafter to get to pregnancy test. I think, you know, with IVF, um, we are able to overcome so many different barriers to fertility uh, that patients might be facing. So one of those um, might be same-sex couples that otherwise may not be able to achieve pregnancy without additional assistance. Um, we help build those families. Uh, for patients who might be carriers of certain genetic conditions that are dangerous to passing that along to their child or where they've had some tragic uh, outcome in the past, we, by the nature of what we do, are able to help overcome that and to build healthy families um, in, in those scenarios. And I think... Um, the fact that we can overcome many of these barriers and help create these families that otherwise might not exist. I mean, that is the gift of fertility treatment. That is the uh, gift I feel as a physician, being able to work with my patients every day to sort of overcome those challenges. And, um, you know, the, I think the best part is being able to then see these beautiful beings that come from this process that, you know, sometimes you have to pinch yourself to say, wow, this child might not be here otherwise for our team efforts here at Boston IVF and the efforts of the patients um, all together that we, we um, are really creating each day a new miracle, which is um, just incredibly rewarding and, and incredibly important um, for all different types of patients that walk through this door.